my channel. My name is Emma and I make skincare products. And here on my channel, I teach you how to make skincare products and provide free formulas every single week. So this week I'm making plum coconut body butter bars. These are also called lotion bars and they are incredibly moisturizing and nourishing on the skin. Because they are anhydrous, meaning they do not contain any water, they're absolutely packed with moisturization. I have used candle candelilo wax, steric acid, and cetyl alcohol as my hardeners. I used a combination of all three because I find that by itself, candelilo wax can get a little bit brittle and a little bit crumbly at high concentrations. So I have used plum kernel oil and coconut oil to scent this product. Now if you've watched any of my other videos, you might have noticed that I really don't formulate much with fragrance or essential oils. That's because I find those ingredients irritating. So I like to use non-irritating alternatives, in this case plum kernel oil and coconut oil, to scent my products. Of course, you can always use fragrance or essential oils in any of my formulas that you make. So please let me know if you have any questions, and if you could please let me know down below what you would like to see me make next. Let's get into it. So starting with our hardeners, the first thing I'm adding to my beaker is five grams of candelilla wax. five grams of subtle alcohol, and five grams of steric acid. Moving on to our butters and oil, I just wanted to mention really quickly that I am using a combination of mango, shea, elipe, and kokum butters. So that is two hard butters and two soft butters. You can switch these out for any butters that you have on hand. Just try to have a balance of hard to soft butters. So I'm adding five grams of mango butter. Five grams of shea butter. Five grams of Elipe butter. Five grams of Kokum butter. 11.75 grams of coconut oil. And three grams of plum kernel oil. So that is our heated phase. I'm going to put this beaker in a double boiler for about 20 minutes or until all of our solid ingredients are melted and then I will be back to stir and add our cool down phase. So it's been about 25 minutes and as you can see all of our solid ingredients have melted. I did go ahead and add some purple mica to this. I'm now going to stir for about one minute, let the temperature come down enough to add our cool down ingredient. So we are ready to add our cool down phase, which consists of only one ingredient, 0.25 grams of vitamin E. So I made an identical 50 gram batch. The only difference between these is that this one contains purple mica and this one contains white mica because I am making two toned body butters today. So I'm using this 3D silicone heart mold and as you can see I've added some mica to the bottom of the molds and then I'm going to be using these plastic dividers that I had my husband make for me to create the two-toned look. So while we're waiting for the body butter bars to set up, I wanted to talk about modifications. So as I mentioned, you can swap out the butters for any other butters that you have on hand, and that also goes for the carrier oil. You can also use oil-soluble extracts or antioxidants. 
and you can use powders like silica microspheres or arrowroot powder to reduce greasiness and maximize the elegance of these body butter bars. I usually make these body butter bars with silica microspheres, but I wanted to keep it really simple for this video. If you have silica microspheres on hand, I would highly recommend using about 2% because it adds incredible haptics to the body butter bars. When it comes to the waxes, you could use beeswax, but you would probably have to increase the percentage of wax in this formula. So for example, you might want to try 15% because beeswax is significantly less hard than candelilla wax. Also, if you're using beeswax, you will likely end up with a body butter bar that's stickier and doesn't absorb as well. Beeswax is much more substantive on the skin than candelilla wax. If you are using carnauba wax, you can probably just do a one-to-one -one swap. One last thing to keep in mind is that you might have to play around with the formula depending on your climate. If you live somewhere very warm, you will likely have to increase the percentage of hardeners and decrease the percentage of soft butters and carrier oil. I couldn't find perfectly sized tins for this particular mold, so I'm using this four ounce tin and I put some crinkle paper on the bottom so the body butter bar doesn't bounce around in there. So I let this set up at room temperature for about 30 minutes after I took it out of the freezer and now we're ready to package. Before I put the lid on this one, I just wanted to show you up close what these look like. And then I'm also going to be doing a demonstration so you can get an idea for how they apply and what the absorption is like. So as you can hopefully see, I can handle these body butter bars without them melting all over my hands. And that is exactly what I am going for. But at the same time, I need the body butter bar to dispense product upon application. So it's a really precarious balance of melting point and hardness. But as you can hopefully see, it is dispensing and it applies in a really nice thin layer and it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. And for a body butter bar, it does absorb pretty quickly. So at this point, it's almost completely absorbed. As you can see, it does leave a finish on the skin, but in terms of actual product on the skin, there really isn't much left behind. And that's from the use of candelilla wax, which is a very lightweight wax on the skin. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Next week, I'm thinking about making either a sugar scrub or a sheet mask. So if that is something that interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you found this video helpful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up as well. Thank you so much.